solving a system using elimination method. Your goal is to actually eliminate one of the variables by adding the two equations together. So in the first example, if you add the two equations together, you're going to notice that you have x plus x gives you 2x, and then you have a negative y and a positive y. They're actually going to eliminate one another. And that's going to equal 4 and 2 is 6. So divide both sides by 2, and you're going to get x equals 3. To find out what y equals, just plug your x value into one of the equations. I'm going to plug it into this one here because my y is going to be positive. So I'm going to get 3 plus y equals 2. Subtract 3 from both sides. y will equal negative 1. So the solution to this system is going to be 3 comma negative 1. This next system, sometimes you can't just eliminate a variable right away. You have to manipulate the system a bit. So I'm going to multiply this second equation by negative 1. I always add my equations together. I'm always putting them together. Just like in substitution, we put one equation into the other. We're doing the same thing. We're just putting the two equations together. Um, but when I multiply this one by negative 1, the top equation is going to stay the same as 4x minus y equals 7. This bottom one's going to become negative 4x plus 2y equals negative 2. You have to make sure you multiply every single piece. 4x, negative 4x, when I add them together, that's going to be gone. A negative y and 2y is going to give me a positive y equals, and then a 7 and negative 2 is going to give me a 5. So y's value is 5. I'm going to plug that in to the top equation here, so right up into this equation. So I'm going to get 4x minus 5 equals 7. So I'm going to add 5 to both sides. So I'll get 4x equals 12, divided by 4, and I'll get x equals 3. So the solution to this system is 3 comma 5. This last one here, we're not, we can't just add them together because the two variables are not going to cancel. We can't just multiply by a negative 1. We actually have to multiply, and I'm going to do the second equation, by a negative 5, or by a 5, excuse me, because I'm looking at this column here, and I'm going to eliminate my y's. I could easily multiply the top one by 3 and the bottom one by negative 2 in order to eliminate my x's, but this will eliminate it quickly. When I multiply this by 5, my first equation is going to stay 2x plus 5y equals negative 3. My second equation is going to become 15x minus 5y equals 10. So there, when I add the two together, you're going to see that those eliminate. So 15 and 2x gives me 17x equals 7. Divide both by 17, x will equal 7 over 17. When you substitute x into this top equation here and solve for y, you're going to get y's value is negative 13 seventeenths. So the final answer is 7 seventeenths, negative 13 seventeenths. So remember, when using the elimination method, your goal is to eliminate one of the variables. You add your equations together. You'll solve for one variable and then substitute in and solve for the other.